All right, I'm back. Welcome to the Sunny C Show. Actually, welcome to the Oasis Show. Hosted by Sunny C, and I am Sunny C. I've been pondering this question. I get these questions a lot from kids. One of the questions they always ask What is snitching? And should snitching ever be done if you didn't do anything? Or let me rephrase that. Should I be allowed to tell on people if I see something happening that could save a person's life? My answer to that is, if you're a civilian, and you're not in the game, meaning you're not in that life, by all means, save your fellow man. Have at that. By all means, call the police. Now, the flip side of that coin is, if you're in that life, and you want to be a gangster, and you want to live by that code, that G code of being a gangster. And you want to take, you want to put your resume out for other gangsters. And you just happen to get knocked. There is codes to live by. If you in concert with another individual pulling capers, you get knocked. No way that you should be ratting that person out if you get pinched. That's just the rules. That's what you signed up for. You get in that box I don't care you talk circles for an hour. There's never no snitching. Because you was in concert with another individual trying to pull off a caper. You just happened to get caught. Now you can make up reasons to say my snitching was justified and say that, well, they told me he was in there telling on me. You can convince yourself of that. And if that's what you want to do, that's on you. But here's rule number, here's another rule. And another code you should live by. If you're in the life. And the first thing you should reply with is show me the paperwork show me his testimony show me his words verbatim of what he said against me now you're still not off the hook just because they show you and produce some kind of paperwork or whatever You got to look at the tricks that these law enforcement agencies will do. There's a reason why they put you in different cars when you get popped, different boxes, different interrogation rooms, separate you. Because they want to run these mind games on you. I mean, look at you, you're locked up. This is probably your first time ever getting popped for anything. It's a, it's a different world. A lot of things is running through your mind. You're wondering, man, I'm locked up, man. What am I going to do? What happened? How did I get caught? I thought we had it made. I thought we were good. So these are little things that goes through your mind. And they leave you in there for a while. They want you to think about what you're about to head down. You're in the system now. So now... 
They're going to come back, different officers. They're going to be nice. Some going to be jerks. They're going to be, your prof- you know, try to be their best professional. Be like, your buddy, you want something to drink? You need anything? You hungry? They're trained to do this. They're working on your weakness. They're trying to wear you down. They're trying to mentally play with your mind. So, in that situation, my advice is like this. Before you get involved with anything, before you get into that life, before you accept that as your way of life, you got to accept the consequences of being caught. Because everybody, if they're in this life long enough, will get caught. We'll get arrested. We'll get fingerprinted. We'll get photoed. We'll get strip shirts. This is what you sign up for. This is the cost of doing business. Now, you might have some people inside that will hold you down, depending on what crime you did. There's some crimes that's just unforgettable. There's no negotiation. You don't mess with kids. You don't rape women. You don't mess with old people. And there's a host of others, but I won't get into that right now. That's for a different conversation. But when you in, you consider yourself a gangster. There's certain things you're just going to have to take for the team. You can't go in there, you with someone, y'all in concert, y'all doing pulling capers, then all of a sudden... You get popped. First thing the police say, well, your man's in there giving you up right now. You're going to take the whole fall. And you then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, oh, wait a minute. Because really, if he's your man, you should have did the research on your homie. You know if he's built like that or not. You know right away if he's built for this. He's going to know right away if you're built for this. So if you're not built for the whole Scenario, it's not just the glam, it's the whole thing. If you're not built for that life, I suggest go to school, get an education, go to college, go to the army, get a trade, get a job, do your own business, and get down that way and get your money. But if you want to go out there and play the street game, you better be seasoned real quick. Because they don't care if you're a rookie. Oh, this is just my first time. Yeah, they tell you your first time, but still, they got you. You're in the belly of the beast now. And then they'll show the trick like, well, you know, you help us, we help you. <laughs> then you become a UC, undercover, or informant. Remember this. It's your first time getting popped. If it's just petty crimes or just some, you know, random robbery type of thing and you ain't really point your, bust your gun or point a gun at anybody and you just strong arming or you just pulling capers, you're good. No need to panic. No need to panic. That's an inconvenience to your life. You know, there's no more TV. There's no more, I'm going to get up and take a shower. I'm, it's no more, I'm just going to go in my refrigerator and grab a soda. So your life is going to be disrupted. But, you know, this, this is, you charge it to the game. This is what it is. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. You do not want to go on that platform with that jacket of the snitch on you. This is why I tell people, I don't throw that jacket on people lightly. I'm not going to say, I don't care who's my worst enemy. If the man didn't snitch, he's not a snitch. It's just, it's just the way I live. 
I'm not going to say, oh, he's a snitch, he's a rat. I don't throw that out there like that. Nor do I do it in public to embarrass anybody. I don't do it. Because there's ramifications for that. You know, people like to pop in their gums and say, oh, he's a snitch, he's a rat. Where's the paperwork? First thing I ask, where's the paperwork? Where's the receipts? And if I find out that he did kind of give his testimony to the court, it caused a couple people to lose their freedom, then guess what I do? He's done. I don't mess with the dude. I don't go in his circles. I don't want him around me. I move differently. I navigate around him. That's it. It is what it is. And if I see him in, 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 in traffic, then we see each other in traffic. I keep it moving. There's no sense in me having a conversation with a snitch. It's just not in my DNA. If you rat, you rat. You got to live with that. You took the easy route to get out of the crime that you committed with somebody else. And you put your man, basically slammed the gavel down on your man. The judge don't have to do it, you did it. So you best believe it, when you get into this life that you dire or desire to get in, you better be able to handle the whole weight and stop pump faking. That's all I got to say about that. I'm done.